All right, welcome back to this next episode, part three of exercise 4-1. And it looks like we are adding more walls to our main floor plan. And then we're going to do a little bit for the second level floor plan. And I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to offset this. Uh, three feet, seven inches, three feet, seven. And all the interior uh, walls are four and a half inches. There we go. And it looks like this extends all the way across. So EX. And you might be wondering how I did that. So. EX, spacebar, and I select both of these lines at the same time using this selection. And bam, make life easy on myself. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Again, I like to clean as I go when I draft uh, because, again, it just makes life a lot easier. All right, so it looks like we're making a space here and a space here. And we are going to offset this six, six feet, six feet. This way, uh, offset 4.5 this way. And then we're going to offset five feet uh, ten dash five was it eighths inch this way and then offset four point five this way all right So let me clean this up before I start that other one. So I'm going to use fillet, start with the inside, and then fillet, start with the outside. So I created this six foot um, area. There we go. Let's trim that, clean that up. And now we need to offset, it looks like uh, three feet, four inches. Ah, offset three feet four inches here and then offset again six feet one and a half inch and so since this is an interior wall again we are offsetting 4.5 so here and here and it looks like this line extends all the way to here so F fillet here we go now we need to offset this uh, two feet nine inches two nine there we go Oop. two feet nine Make sure you're out of all the commands. And there you have it. Oh, looks like I need to fillet this here and here. All right, let's offset this 4.5 inches. This line and that line. Now we need to clean this up. So fillet. Again, I like to start with the outer so I know what I'm dealing with. And here, I do not need this line here. So I'm going to go ahead and fillet this here and fillet this here. And I know I just deleted that line. 
again, sometimes when you're going fast, things um, things get deleted. Just make sure you fix them. All right. Now it looks like we need to. Ah, it looks like this is supposed to match up with this. So I did this a little bit wrong. And that's okay. We'll go ahead and fix that. Let's move. There we go. So I just made a line and now I'm just going to fillet this. There we go. And so you can see how paying attention to the dimensions is critical <laughs> and what's really going on. So this wall is continuous all the way to here. Um, even though I kind of drew it separate. I still was able to uh, manage to fix this. And again, so if we want to check, let's go to properties. That's 2.9. That's 6 feet 1.5. This is 3 feet 4 inches. And so just make sure you, you double check. This is at, what, 6 feet? Yeah, 6 feet 1 inch. 1.5 one inch. Okay. So now we're moving, moving right along. All right, let's offset this. It looks like uh, 13 feet 5 and 5 eighths, so offset. 13 feet 5 dash 5 eighths. Here we go. Offset 4.5 this way on the inside. And then now clean this up. And I don't like to, and, and I'm just telling you this um, because I thought at one point, you know, maybe I could just use offset and, you know, just offset everything first and then go back and clean everything up. I found out I tend I tend to forget to clean things up, and as you can see, I went over here and forgot to clean up that line, and so now I cleaned that up, and and I want you to get in that habit, start start cleaning things up as you go, um, and that way life is much easier. You, you don't have to deal with clean everything up afterwards. Um, you know, just get one main wall going and and then clean up afterwards. Um, and just and just keep in that habit and that way you your um, your habits allow you to draft and clean up at the same time and you really don't have to worry about anything afterwards. And so while it's fresh in your head and you're dealing with a particular wall and dimensions clean as you go that's a pro tip all right let's extend these two lines here to here because that's, that's pretty much what it's saying so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up here to there and it looks like we need to extend no offset offset 16 two inches from here yeah and then we're going to extend this line down to here and I can offset this 4.5 here to here and offset again well, let, you know what? Let, let's trim this up before we get carried away. So trim, double, sp uh, double space bar. There we go. Let's trim that. All right. Uh, let's offset this line. Two feet, nine inches. And offset 4.5. 
4.5. And now we need to offset this. Oh, it looks like it gave us uh, the offset for here. So offset 7 feet 1 inch. And then offset 4.5. And now we just need to clean up. So I'm going to fillet here, here, and then here, here. Trim, double space bar, and there you have it. And so that is the floor plan. And before I actually save, I want to go all around and make sure everything is cleaned up. I do not want anything that is not cleaned up. I want to make sure that my dimensions are fine. And I just realized that this, this line might be six and a half inches. Yep. And so I need to move this two inches down. So two, fillet. And again, this is why it's important. to clean up and double check. All right. And you might be asking yourself, well, why isn't it uniform all the way around? Well, that's not how we build. And that's not how we design. This, this is how we build. This is how we design. And yeah, it's much easier, but the reality is these walls are thicker than the walls on the inside. And we need to reflect that in our floor plans. And so we need to be mindful of the contractors that are building these and um, and how it's actually being built. And you might ask yourself, well, why is this wall thick? Well, that might be a load-bearing wall because we do have a second floor we got to deal with. And, um, you know, that's something that the architect and the engineer will have to work out together. And so it uh, looks like I didn't clean this up. And... I always do a once over to make sure everything's cleaned up. And essentially, if I was to hatch, to create a hatch, I should be able to. Ah, closed boundary cannot be determined. So something is open. So uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to use my fillet command and just double back on everything. Make sure everything is closed. Because you can only hatch when everything is closed. This is also an important lesson for double checking. And sometimes, sometimes, AutoCAD just doesn't hatch everything. And there's a trick to that as well. You know, even if you did check it and it all closes up and you're like, okay. Oh, it also points out where, where you're having issues. Why are we having this issue? Ah, that's why we're having this issue. So here we go. That's fixed. What's up with this? All right. I don't know what's up with this, but let's try and close this. So I use fillet. Well, let's try and hatch again. Hatch. Oh, yeah. So now I know everything's closed because, you know, you're not going to be able to hatch without everything closing. And this is what we want. I'm going to delete this hatch. So hatch, is, they're called hatch patterns. And oh, we always call them hatch for short. Um, let's see. So if I hit the letter H, hatch, space bar. And I select on the interior. Um, there you go. It'll hatch everything. And so I would also double check that on the basement plan as well. So, um, and just to make sure everything's closed because we will have to hatch these walls eventually. And we'll get to that. All right. So that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and create another video for part 
4. Uh, and we're going to do the second level plan.